G'day guys, Richie here from Prompt Parts. Today we're going to be running through on how to set your timing pointer so you can accurately verify the timing on your engine. Some of the tools you'll need will be piston stop tool, ruler, a white paint marker and a spark plug socket. So we first remove the spark plugs out of the engine then on number one cylinder or where your TDC reference mark on your flywheel is coalesced to. Wind that into the spark plug thread. So on our flywheel, we're going to mark four centimetres past TDC after top dead centre and put a white dot. Yeah, this in the sense it stops on 20, so we'll match it on 20 on the other side. Wind the engine over to 20 degrees after top dead centre or to your reference mark which will be 4 centimetres after top dead centre. Wind our piston stop tool in until it just touches the top of the piston. Locked there. Lock the tool. Turn the flywheel around nice and gently until it touches on the piston on the other side on which would be before top dead centre. Perfect. It hasn't matched up with their other four centimetre mark. So what we now do is we measure the distance between where it stopped here now and our first reference point, and we'll mark a line. Which is there. We then relieve the piston stop tool. Wind the engine around until it matches the mark that we just drew. To make it easier, we'll tighten this piston stop tool in there just to hold the engine in place. We'll then align the timing marker with TDC to a top dead centre. We now know the timing pointer is in the right orientation. We'll then do that same process again to verify that when we do do our test that the two lines match up with each other. Um, and then from there we can go through our idle timing and high speed timing in the testing. Remove the piston stop tool. Refit your spark plug, and you're good to run your engine. But for more information on how to set your timing pointer, visit our website, promptparts.co.nz.